Okay, hi everyone and welcome to another of my video tutorials. Now you may or may not have seen one of my previous videos called An Easy Way to Sell Your Pro Photo Prints Online. In that video I showed you how you could sell your uh, photos as prints through a third, third party website called Fine Art America but selling them through your own personal website. So essentially linking your personal website to your Fine Art America website. Now, uh, in this video, I showed you what you can do and how you can do it. And my website is, is made through WordPress. But several people have contacted me asking me if it's possible and how you can do it through other websites like Squarespace, for example. So in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to do it through Squarespace. Now, I don't have a Squarespace website. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I've just set up a trial website and set up a gallery page within Squarespace itself. OK, so just a quick uh, rundown. I if as I say, if you haven't seen my previous video, I advise that you go back and watch it to give you a bit more information exactly what you need to do. But essentially, uh, you need to have a uh, you need to set up an account with Fine Art America, it's called fineartamerica.com. Now you need to set up a subscription based account, which is only about 30, 35 pound a year. And within that, you can upload all your photos and make them available for sale as, as a variety of print products and all sorts of things. So it's really, really good. And it's very easy to do. But if you have the subscription model, what you also get with that is your own personal artists website as they call it and essentially it's your name uh, plus pixels.com and what happens is um, if you've got a profile on fine art america you will have a profile and a gallery and you can create collections and all sorts of things throughout your fine art america account and that fine art america profile is actually if we if we try and find mine there you go Ian Middleton shop so this is my shop within Fine Art America and within that I've created collections and all of my images they're uploadable and they're searchable and they can be purchased as a variety of prints so I go more into detail on that in the previous video so check that out but basically if you've got this what you will also have if you have the subscription model is this same profile within your own personal website. So what that means is that instead of going to fineartamerica.com, uh, people can go to your own personal Fine Art America website. And the advantage to that is that they will not see anyone else's photos. If they go to your shop on Fine Art America, they can still search Fine Art America and they can still look at other people's photos. So if you direct people from your website to this page, people could then search and find actually a photo from somebody else and buy their photo, which is what you don't want really, do you? So the idea is to link people to your uh, official Pixels um, website on Fine Art America. So as I said, uh the goal here today is to show you exactly how to do that so what you do is you want to go to your main pixels site so you, you want to close your fine art america site you don't want to be there okay and you want to be on your main pixels site so you want to be able to navigate to your galleries to your collections and to specific photos so Within Squarespace itself, let's assume that you've set up your gallery page. OK, uh, this is the main page, for example. So uh, you want to have your gallery page with all of your details. So what I've done here is I've set up as an example, uh, a gallery of my photos of Dirtle Door. Now, because it's going to be on your own website, again, the advantage to doing this through your own website, because some people have said to me, well, if I've got the Pixel site, 
I don't need my own website. Well, that's not actually true because uh, your Pixels website will not be found on search engines. Because it's a mirror of Fine Art America, obviously uh, Fine Art America have prioritized in their SEO that the, your photos on the Fine Art America site will come up first and not on your personal Pixels site. Plus this is a clone of this, so Google will see it as a duplicate content and it will index the Fine Art America pages first. So you want to direct people to your own photos and that so they don't see anyone else's. So it is more advantageous that you have your own website, but then you, to fulfill orders, to sell your photos, you can then link people directly to the purchase pages or the product pages on this Pixels website. So the simplest way to do that, as I said, set up your page like you've done, like I've done here, sorry. Uh, you want to make sure that your page is very descriptive of what you're selling. For SEO purposes, you have to think what are people searching for. So if your goal is to sell photos, then you're going to want to find people that are searching on Google for photos for sale. They want to buy photos. And of course, you want to match it with what your photos are. So my title here is Photos of Dirtle Door. So I'm assuming that people who are looking for photos of Dirtle Door, that's what they're going to search for, of course. Uh, okay. And, but most importantly, you want to make it very clear to people when they land on your page that the photos are for sale. So in bold writing here under my description, I've put buy any photo as a high quality fine art print and then given a bit of information there. So that immediately makes it clear to people that your photos are for sale. Now what I can also do here, if I go into my edit, Here. Now what I can do here, if I click my add button, I can add a button. And what I can do here is simply add a buy prints button. So it's big, nice big clear button, makes it very, very clear to people that they can buy prints. So, and here you have the link. Now that's what you want to set. So that's why you want to go back here to your main Prince page. Now, my gallery here is going to be my Dirtle Door gallery. So what I want to do, I've already set up a collection here for Dirtle Door. So if I click this, navigate to my Dirtle Door wall art page, and then simply copy the whole URL, right click, click copy, Go back here and paste that URL into the link section here. That's it. That's done. Here I've got some options for this web address. So I can choose that that opens in a new window, which is a very good idea because then people uh, still keep uh, themselves on your own website. They don't lose their way. Click save and that's done. Now if I save that, now if I hover over this, if I click this button, it's going to take people directly to my Dirtle Door wall art page on my FAA Pixel site where they can scroll through and purchase any photos that they want. Now that's the start. Now what you also want to do is make that available on the individual pictures because you may get people then they'll scroll thread down through and they'll look at the photos on your actual website and if they decide that oh I want to buy this photo then they want to be able to click this button and be taken directly to the purchase page for that photo. The last thing you want to do is click them to your main website and then they have to continue searching through another website to get to the photo they want. If they've clicked this photo, this is obviously the photo that they're interested in buying. So you've got to make it easy for them and make help them to be able to go straight through to the product page 
for that particular photo. So how did I do that? Now, okay, and I, I'm not an expert on Squarespace, so some of you may know a bit more than I do, but essentially, from what I have seen, there are two ways to set up your galleries. Now you can set them up manually, individually placing your photos in, or you can set up an actual gallery itself. Now the advantage to doing it manually, image by image, although it may be a bit tedious, is that we can add buttons underneath each image. So that again makes it clearer to people that they can buy the image, and again makes it easier for people to buy your image. So the way that we do that, first of all, is we can click the image itself once you've got the image in place, click edit, and you'll see here that you have the same option to set a hyperlink here. Now that will make the image itself linkable. So you can do that, and I would advise you do it, because uh, again, it makes it easier. So what you do is navigate to the photo itself. So previously we navigated to the gallery or the collection that we wanted to link to. But in this case for individual images, you want to navigate to the image. So find the same image on your FAA pixel site. Open that and highlight, copy, and then right click and paste that link in. Now again, you can do the same thing set it to open in a new window or not it's your choice click save and there we go okay now if we click save here now if somebody's browsing your website the first thing they can do is click to buy prints they'll be taken to your collection page or if they like that image they can click that and be taken to directly to the product page and choose the product they want to buy and hopefully purchase something. Now, again, it's great that we've got this, but it also is not immediately obvious that they can easily buy this. So, if we go back and edit our page, now that's why I say the advantage to setting your images individually although it's tedious, it, it does allow you underneath to add a button. Whereas from what I've seen, the galleries don't allow you to do that. So again, simply add a button, buy a print, yeah, make it obvious. You can say buy a print or purchase, whatever you want. But I think I usually think it's best to say buy a print. And again, copy and paste that same URL, set the link to open in another window, and job done. Save. Now we have a nice buy a print button underneath. Again, which links people directly to the product page on your FAA personal website. Nice and easy. Now we can obviously let's go back and edit that button. We can make it a bit smaller if you want, or you can make it bigger. I'm probably telling you, here you go, design. We can make the button a bit smaller if you want, um, but you probably know all this if you have a Squarespace site. We can do the same thing here. Now let's go find that image. Da -dum. Scroll down through your gallery. Find that image. Make sure you find the right one. There we go. Copy. Paste. Open in a new window. Job done, come down here, add a button, buy a print, make it in capitals so it's nice and clear. Again, paste that same link in, open in a new window, make the button.
one smaller if you want. Save. And job done. Now, when someone visits your gallery, they scroll down through, they read, oh, by prints, yeah, scroll down. And then, oh, I like that one. Oh, by a print, click straight to the product page for that photo. Or, oh, I like this one. Click straight to that photo. Yeah, you will increase your chances of sales if you make it easy for people when someone sees the photo they like on your website that they can click a button and go straight to that product page and start choosing the product that they wanted it they want it printed on. So let's just go back here. Now I've got a small gallery down here. So when we set up our gallery, as you already know, if we go to the gallery part itself, now you can, from what I can see, again, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong about this, please do make a comment uh, down below and let me know. But as I say, I'm not a Squarespace expert, so I just set up a temporary account to show you how to do this. For what I can see from the galleries is that you can click the ind individual photo and set a link for the photo same here yeah, so that last one we've just done i can paste that link in there i can do the same thing that i can open in a new window but that's it as far as i can see i can add a description um, but it doesn't allow me to put a button underneath now the only thing i can see is that in that description i can put by prints which will mean that uh, that will appear in the description underneath but it won't be clickable but they will be able to click the photo itself if I do the same here by prints close that done now I can see people can click the photo itself to go through so it's still possible but you don't get the buy prints button that's the only difference as far as I can see when you set up a gallery but of course it's much easier then to set up the galleries rather than setting photos individually but if you're going to choose the gallery option that's probably the best way to do it and then to have the buy prints text underneath so again you're reminding people that these are for sale now one thing you could do, if you don't want to use this uh, description section to write by prints, then you could just simply put a bit of text up the top here, telling people what they need to do. So if you simply add a section and just, you can either ha add a headline here with a bit of text and write here click on any image to purchase centralize that highlight it make it nice and big and save now that way it's a clear indication what people need to do to purchase. I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, if you have Squarespace, then uh, this is the way to integrate that into your Fine Art America pixel site and link potential buyers directly through there to fulfill any orders and purchases yourself. Okay, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, check out some of my other videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.